That's the Cat's Eye News this year. Hey, Wildcats. You may have noticed that recently the NHS Fieldhouse has been painted gray and black. We talked to Stuart Wright about why this big change was made. So a number of factors, actually. Um, when we were going through the design process, we wanted to create a unified, fresh look for the south side of the high school. And one of the most cost-effective ways to do that would, was to stain uh, the backside. One of the other factors, too, was you know, considering all the sporting events, too, um, we wanted to create a unique, kind of intimidating look for uh, visiting fans. It does a number of things. It does, uh, you know, it provides a fresh look to the high school, but it also gives that uh, intimidating factor for opposing teams. The brick staining that you see currently um, is phase one, really. Um, we have had discussions with the superintendent and the principals about uh, possibly staining other areas of the high school, but that, that could be potentially in the future. So that's something that we're still looking into. We also talked to some NHS students about what they thought. Oh, I like it better. It looks better because it just makes the school look like more clean and put together. Um, I don't really like it. I feel like it makes the school look like a prison and a lot of people say that school is like a prison to them. So I don't think that it's really good for the image that Novi High School is supposed to bring for like happiness and how we feel about the school. If you also want to share your opinion on this, Mr. Manga is looking for a group of students who can help make decisions like this in the future. If you're interested, message me at Clara Polonsky on Instagram. Have an amazing day, Wildcats. Hi, Cats Eye News. Emily here. The first Go Earls Who Code meeting will be on Tuesday, October 3rd in room 252 at 245. We'll discuss all the fun activities we have planned for the school year and make binary brackets. There will be snacks. Make sure to attend if you're interested. What's up, Novi? If you're interested in playing girls across this spring, make sure you stop by Mrs. West's room, room 243, to receive information about preseason workouts. Let's go, Wildcats. Don't forget to check the Cat's Eye News Instagram every Friday for updates on sports and other such fall activities. Do you have a story that you want featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Just send us details, pictures, and videos, and we'll do the rest. In honor of homecoming week, we came to lunch to ask people, what's your favorite homecoming tradition? So what's your favorite homecoming tradition? Hallway decorations. The hallway decorations are always fire. So who's your favorite this year? Gotta go with the seniors this year, you know, it's, they look great. My favorite homecoming tradition is uh, definitely the football game. I would say like the spirit days. What's your favorite spirit day this week? The season. So what is your favorite homecoming tradition? Probably decorating the hallways. My favorite homecoming tradition is to eat food together. Huh? What is your favorite homecoming tradition? I really, I love the court, I love the parade, but best of all, it's that game. Go Wildcats! Yeah. Tell them, yeah! What's your favorite homecoming tradition? Probably the parade. What's your favorite part of homecoming week? Spirit week. What are your guys' favorite homecoming traditions? Like seeing everyone dress up for spirit days. The parade, hallway decorating. Who are the best hallway this year? Most definitely the seniors. What is your favorite homecoming week tradition? There's a tradition? What's the traditions? List them. There you have it, Novi. Have a great homecoming. The student-teacher hip-hop dance takes place during the homecoming pep rally every year. The students and teachers participating this year have been practicing before school on Tuesdays and Thursdays. This year's homecoming pep rally takes place this Friday after fifth hour, as you might have memorized by now because of every single teacher telling you about the schedule change for the day. One may not bring one's backpack. I interviewed some participating teachers about their views. Let's take a look. 11 years I started my first year here which was 2013. I think five or six years. Well it's my 12th year because I, I actually started when I was pregnant with my 12 year old son. On and off for probably like the whole time I've been here I've done it at least six times. Trying to get more teachers to do it and especially the male teachers they're always intimidated and they don't want to do it but we would love to have all of you. Finding some way to remember the choreography that makes sense for me so I can nail it in the right time. The hardest part is actually remembering the, the moves. Memorizing all the moves. I am not a dancer, I never have been, so just like memorizing the moves and pretending like I'm not a half step behind everyone else. <laughs> Make sure to cheer loudly during the dance. This is Neil signing off. I'll be right back. What's going on, Novi? Welcome back or welcome to Up and Coming. If you don't know what that is, I'm basically just keeping you updated on all things movies, games, and shows that'll be coming out within the month. I think we should get right into it. 
Rick and Morty season seven comes out on October 7th. I'm really excited for that. I love Rick and Morty, and I think the story is, is just really enjoyable all in all. It's an enjoyable show to watch. Forza Motorsports comes out on October 10th. I'm not, per, I'm personally not a big fan of it, but I know a lot of Xbox fans are, so maybe that they'll think it's a really good exclusive. Assassin's Creed Mirage, I'm very excited for. I love the Assassin's Creed franchise. I think it's a really great franchise because of the stories that it tells. That comes out on October 12th. I can't wait. Lords of the Fallen comes out on October 13th. I'm pretty sure it's like a Souls-like game, like Dark Souls or anything like that. So if you're interested, just look up some gameplay. Me personally, I think I like the way it looks. Now, Spider-Man 2 comes out on October 20th. I am so excited for it. I will be pre-ordering it soon, and I will be the first one to play on day one. We'll catch you later, Novi. Hey there, Wildcats. It's Jay in here today. I want to thank you for watching today's broadcast. This is our first broadcast of the 2023 to 2024 school year. We are honored to be able to make these videos for you. Hope we'll tune in next week at Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We're doing three episodes a week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time, Wildcats.